Good evening and welcome to Sports Night in Auburn. My name is Sam Humphrey. And I'm Kennedy Gooden. Tonight we've got a lot to cover from the win for Auburn football to Auburn volleyball and their tournament play from the past weekend. You're watching Sports Night in Auburn. Auburn, fresh off their win against the 11th ranked Oregon Ducks in exciting fashion, headed home this weekend. As Auburn welcomed in the green wave of Tulane to Jordan here for the first home game of 2019, Eagle Eye News was there to bring the highlights. The 10th ranked Auburn Tigers welcomed in the Tulane green wave to Jordan Hare Stadium this past Saturday for an out of conference showdown and Bo Nix's first career start in front of the home crowd at Jordan Hare Stadium. But Nix wasn't the only one who would be in front of the Jordan Hare crowd for the first time as Aura would make her first flight around the stadium and just listen to how the Auburn fans welcomed her into the family. Aura wasn't the only one who helped get the crowd going, as Nix would find senior receiver Will Hastings early for this acrobatic catch to set up Auburn at midfield. After the offense stalled later in the drive defensively, Noah Igmanogany would help get the ball back after a crucial deflection. That would set up Nix to Hastings again, except this time Hastings would spin his way into the end zone for six. Hastings would finish the game with five catches for 75 yards and this touchdown. Just the next offensive possession for Auburn receiver Seth Williams would help set up the offense inside the two with this incredible catch over two two-lane defenders. And just two plays later, Eli Stove would go in motion and take the jet sweep in for six, extending the Auburn lead at the half to eight with a score of 14 to six. Defensively, Auburn came out in the second half strong. They held Tulane to just six points for the game total with Derek Brown leading the way in the trenches. And Jeremiah Dinson would prove again why he is one of the best safeties in the SEC as the reigning SEC Defensive Player of the Week would absolutely snag this interception out of the air in the third quarter. He was given SEC Defensive Player of the Week for his contributions on the defensive side of the ball against the 11th ranked Oregon Ducks in the kickoff game last week. That would set up this Booby Whitlow Wildcat run around the right side for six more points. The Tigers would finish the game with 172 rushing yards in the 24-6 victory against the Green Wave. And 15 of those rushing yards came on this play from Whitlow when he jumped over a man. Auburn is at home again this weekend when they host Kent State at 6 p.m. on ESPN2. For Eagle Eye TV, I'm Hayden Desmond. Senior receiver Will Hastings was having himself a night against the Green Wave as he had already hauled in five passes for 75 yards and a touchdown before on a streak down the right sideline. A two-lane defender lowered his shoulder and delivered what appeared to be a knockout blow to the 5'10", 174-pound Hastings. Hastings stayed down for a few minutes before being helped to his feet and walking off the field under his own power. Coach Malzahn had this to say about Hastings in his post-game press conference. Speaking of injuries, uh, with Will Hastings coming off the field, I mean, how is he? But when he came off the field, you were kind of like, wow. What did he say to you exactly? When yeah, he just said, I'm all right, coach. It was a pretty good lick. I'm all right. And... Uh, He's a tough guy. That was a, was a really, really good lick. So he's a tough guy. As far as this week goes, Malzahn has said Hastings will play against Kent State, but receiver Seth Williams will be out with a shoulder injury. The Tigers continue to rack up the accolade as the week go on as Marvin Davison was named SEC Defensive Lineman of the Week after he led the Auburn defensive front with six tackles, two tackles for loss, and three quarterback pressures. Davison was part of an Auburn defense that held two to six total points on two field goals. 223 yards and just two for 15 on third down. And with a new week comes a new AP poll as Auburn continues to move up the rankings. The top three in the rankings remain the same as Clemson, Alabama, and Georgia held the top spots. LSU, after their big win over Texas, moves up two spots to number four and Oklahoma rounded out the top five. Ohio State comes in at six with Notre Dame at seven. Auburn comes in at number eight after a strong defensive showing against Tulane. Florida and Michigan round out the top ten. Coming up, we'll take a look at everything else going on around the Plains. We'll be right back. 
As a mom and an Olympian, I know the importance of getting to the finish line quickly. But quicker isn't always better when it comes to conversations about the dangers of underage drinking. General Marshall is right. You don't need to get the entire point across in one dinner or one car ride. Stick to those meaningful moments. A text or short conversation can go a long way. And be sure to use resources like asklistenlearn.org. They've got everything from conversation starters to facts about the dangers of underage drinking. So start the conversation today about saying yes to a healthy lifestyle. And no to underage drinking. I believe this is a practical world and that I can count only on what I earn. Therefore, I believe in work, hard work. I believe in education, which gives me the knowledge to work wisely and trains my mind and my hands to work skillfully. I believe in honesty and truthfulness, without which I cannot win the respect and confidence of my fellow men. I believe in a sound mind, in a sound body, in a spirit that is not afraid, and in a clean sport that develops these qualities. I believe in obedience to the law because it protects the rights of all. I believe in human touch, which cultivates sympathy with my fellow men and mutual helpfulness and brings happiness for all. I believe in my country because it is a land of freedom and because it is my home, and that I can best serve that country by doing justly, loving mercy, and walking humbly with my God. And because Auburn men and women believe in these things, I believe in Auburn and love it. The Dog's Way Home is the story of the extraordinary lengths a dog will go to in order to get back to their family. Every year, millions of dogs and cats end up in shelters and rescue groups. We found our Bella at a shelter in Tennessee. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover they're all pure love. <laughs> adopt pure love and help a shelter pet find their way home at the shelterpetproject.org. Auburn Volleyball traveled to Miami, Florida to compete in the Hurricane Invitational. The Tigers' first match would be against... The Tigers' first match would be Friday night against Florida Gulf Coast, where the Tigers would fall in three sets to open the tournament. Saturday would bring a different result as freshman Lily Thomason's solo block was to create a 3-2 win for the Tigers in an exciting 17-15 fifth set. On Sunday, Auburn would put together its best offensive performance of the season so far as they took down George Washington by a final of 3-1. Senior Inaja Bidzain led the way for, for Auburn throughout the weekend, as she totaled 41 kills in the three matches she played. Auburn welcomed in state rival Troy to the Auburn Soccer Complex on Sunday. Freshman Sydney Richards made her arrival on the Plains Known as she scored her first two goals in an Auburn uniform as the Tigers were marched into a 3-0 victory behind Richards and another goal from senior Bree Folds. Folds has now matched a school record with a goal in four straight games dating back to last season. Folds was also named SEC Offensive Player of the Week for the first time in her career. She had previously been named SEC Freshman of the Week in 2016. Coming up, we'll get you up to speed on everything you need to know about upcoming athletics here on the Plains. We'll be right back. Get it. 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 Are you gonna get it, Daddy? She'll get it. Get it. Get it. When you bring home a Goodwill find, you give your whole town a reason to celebrate because you're also funding local job training and placement programs in tech, healthcare, and more. Goodwill. Bring good home. Home fire drills give your family a plan of action. In a home fire, you may have less than two minutes to get out. So when you drill, show everyone two ways out of the house, pick a safe meeting spot, and get there in under two minutes. Then practice home fire drills at least twice a year. You can even make them fun so everyone knows the sound and exactly what to do when they hear a smoke alarm. Go to ready.gov slash fire drill and learn how to prepare your family for home fires.
Let's get you up to speed with everything happening this weekend in Auburn Athletics. On Friday, women's soccer takes on Southern Miss at the Auburn Soccer Complex at 6.30 p.m. Men's tennis takes on Vanderbilt at the Fall Tournament in Nashville, Tennessee, Friday through Sunday. Track and field heads to the Commodore Classic for cross-country season in Nashville, both Saturday and Sunday starting at 8.30 a.m. Volleyball takes on Miami in the Adran Cup in Fort Worth, Texas at 2 p.m. The big event this weekend is happening at Jordan-Hare as the Auburn Tigers football team welcomes Kent State to their home field at 6 p.m. and it can be seen on ESPN2. Thank you for joining us. My name is Sam Humphrey. And I'm Kennedy Gooden. You can follow us on Twitter at EETV underscore sports, Instagram at Eagle Eye TV, and check out our website, eagleeyearburn.com. We're Eagle, and good night.